Hi, we're Christian and Rachel Robb, and we want to tell you a little bit about our, our story of how we first started Pinnacle Homes back in 2012. Christian thought it would be a good idea for both of us to quit our full-time jobs and his in construction when I was seven months pregnant with our first child and just start a venture of our own. At first, it was just me doing whatever I could do, whatever I could find to put food on the table. We did Craigslist ads, uh, painter for a day. Um, we did that a little bit, whatever we could find to just get started. I was trying to navigate being a new mom and Christian wanted me to be the bookkeeper, which was a little challenging at first where I had no background in that, but I learned it gradually through trial and error. And um, we had our office in our home and in one of our first places, it was in our bedroom. We figured out uh, pretty quickly that we should move our office when we had to invite the IT guy into our bedroom to help fix our computer problems. So um, we were able to move it, we were able to move our office to, to the basement um, shortly after that, so that was a big uh, upgrade to our office space. We were really excited when we um, were able to get a contract to do a lot of remodeling on the military base, McConnell Air Force Base. That meant that we were able to hire a lot more employees, but that also meant that our home was now becoming the place that they would meet Monday morning at 7.45 a.m. They'd all come down into our basement and have their team meetings down there. And I would try to stay out of sight and um, keep the kids quiet, keep the kids and, quiet and all of that, yes. And we realized we were really growing when phone calls would come into the office, but Christian would say to me, don't answer the phone if the kids are in the background because he was afraid of not sounding very professional. We realized we needed to get the uh, office out of our home. We were, we were just outgrowing it. And so we started saving, saving our money as much as we could. And we found a, an auction of, of some land up in, up in Kichai. And we decided, well, we'll just go to this auction and, and see what happens. And, and at the end of the auction, we came away with a nice piece of, of property, two acres, and in our future, we're hoping was to build a new office and, and shop there on that land. So in 2018, we were able to have a little groundbreaking ceremony with our team and we all came out and... It was super windy <laughs> and our, we were trying to grill hamburgers and hot dogs and the, I remember the, uh, the fire kept going out because it was too windy for the grill, but, but, but we yeah. managed to break ground. And somehow. we were excited because it was a big um, milestone to be able to start our building. So we continued to work on, on it as we could. Christian and the guys would come and work on things when they were in between jobs, when they had a minute or had a few days that they could schedule in something and we worked on it over about a year and by 2019 we were able to open it in time to have our company Christmas party in our new building. Yes, that was a big milestone for us. We were able to get out of our house, we were able to have a little bit more space and I think maybe at that time we felt like we were a real company. <laughs> we appreciate so much all of our employees over the years that have helped us and they're just a vital part of our ability to grow and develop a company that we have today. And we're also appreciative for all of the, the customers, the, the clients that have hired us to do, to do work. Um, at times I'm not sure um, why they trusted somebody that looked like they were 12 um, back in the day, <laughs> but we're very thankful for all of our team members and our clients that have helped us um, through the years.